Hi, I'm Michel from WeDesigner. In this video, I will show you the link parameter banister. Here is a 3D view of a stair showing a handrail containing banisters. The handrail and the string board has been set in a transparent mode so that you can clearly see how the link between these two elements is working. On the right side of the screen is your property screen, which is showing the different parameters and allows you to change them individually or for the complete stair. The general rule is when there is no selection applied, the parameter setting will be effective on the complete stair. When selecting a single element, the property screen will change to individual setting. Let's have a look to the parameter banisters. Let's have a close up view of the handrail and open up the parameters for the banisters. On the right side, you have the different parameters for your stair. We have here the link parameters. When we open this one. It shows you all the other link parameters that are available for your stair. In this presentation, we will look to the banister. We open this parameter and it shows you that you have two different parameters. You have a parameter linked to the handrail and the parameters of the banister linked to the string board. Currently, there is no penetration entered. As you can see in the 3D, the banister is not penetrating the handrail or the string board. Let's now add a value to the penetration. We add a value of 20 millimeter for handrail and string board. Now you see here that the banister has penetrated the handrail and the string board with one chamfer. We have three different possibilities of penetration with the banisters. Let's show the second possibility on the handrail side. This is a perpendicular with two chamfers. Now you see the difference between the perpendicular one chamfer and two chamfer. The one chamfer only penetrates one side of the banister into the string board. On the two chamfer, you have the banister that is penetrating from the two sides in the handrail. Let's now also change the penetration setting on the string board. They have both now the same penetration. We have a third one, which is the regular vertical penetration. You see that now there is no chamfer, it's only a straight vertical connection into string board and handrail. This is commonly used for metal rods instead of banisters. With the banisters, the most used penetration setting is the perpendicular with two chamfers. Also here, you can change the penetration for all the banisters at once, as also on a single item. When I select a banister, I go on the right side in my property screen where I see the link. And here you can see that you have the link between the handrail and the string board. If I open this up, I can here decide if there will be a penetration or not in one of these two elements. By removing now this penetration setting, you will see that only that banister penetration has been removed. By selecting outside of the stair, so no selection at all, link parameter, banister, removing the penetration will remove the penetration of all the banisters. Thank you for watching this video.